Hey friends, before we start today's episode, I have an important message to share with you. As you must be aware, due to certain new policies, you are not able to comment on our videos. But don't you worry my friends, you can still share your valuable feedback, comments, views and love at our email ID peekabookidsfeedback at gmail.com. Similarly, you can also visit our Instagram and Facebook page and continue to engage with us. We are looking forward to hearing from you. Oh no, little kitty. We can't plant this tree here. This soil seems to be polluted. Oh no, polluted? Oh yes, little kitty. Hey friends, just like any other pollution, soil or land pollution has gradually become a significant challenge that we need to overcome for establishing a healthy environment. So, in today's episode, let us learn what soil pollution is, how it occurs and how it affects living things and most importantly, what can we do to prevent it? Zoom in! So I'm sure you guys must be wondering what exactly this thing called soil pollution is. Well, soil pollution refers to the contamination of soil with abnormal concentrations of toxic substances like trash, debris, poisonous chemicals, etc. In other words, when the level of such toxic and unwanted substances in the soil increases enough to cause severe damage to living organisms such as plants, animals and humans, the soil is said to be contaminated or polluted. But what are the factors responsible for soil pollution? Well, there are many factors responsible for it, from the waste produced at giant factories to excessive use of pesticides on agricultural land to the trash we throw away in our homes and school. Yes, dear friends, trash caused by us is one of many ways that soil gets polluted here on earth. Once the garbage is picked up from your home or school, it is brought to a landfill where it's buried in soil and left there to decompose or break down over time which releases the greenhouse gas methane which may lead to global warming. Not only that, different kinds of soil pollution have been known to have adverse effects on the health of both animals as well as humans as the harmful chemicals that can get into the soil and water can cause cancers, deformities and many skin problems. So, here comes the most crucial question. What can we do to prevent soil pollution? Well, as they say, if you want to change the world, start with the man in the mirror. Yes, my friends, Something as small as recycling, picking up trash from your surroundings can make a huge difference. But the most important thing you can do to control waste is by producing less and less of it. And some ways to do so include not using a paper napkin or paper towel unless you absolutely need one, drinking water from a cup rather than a plastic bottle and being sure to properly dispose of harmful trash like batteries and computer equipment and soon you'll have a better world to live in. It's trivia time! Did you know the planet loses 24 billion tons of topsoil each year because of land pollution? Also, you won't believe but 80% of the world's forest has been destroyed already. In South Africa, 90% of the tropical forest cover 
is demolished. Hmm, that's pretty worrying, isn't it? Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Ah, uh, never mind. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you!